Now, whenever the patients would come to you with myelopathy, uh, there is a classification of myelopathy, which is a neurix classification. What do we mean by neurix classification? So this neurix classification gives you the grades of myelopathy. So this is pertinent to majorly whether the patient is employed or not, or with respect to also the gait of the patient. So uh, this is more dependent on the clinical presentation of the patient. So neurix classification is a classification that basically gives us the grading pertinent to whether the patient is just having the symptoms of the root or the gait, and also it focuses on the employment of the patient. So grade zero is when there are root symptoms only with myelopathy. That is, the patient might have uh, compression, uh, and that is resulting in a myel uh, uh, pain in a particular dermatome or some motor weakness of a particular myotome. Grade one is when the patient is having signs of the spinal cord compression, but the gait is normal. Grade two is when the patient is having a gait difficulty, but the patient is fully employed. Grade three is the patient is having gait difficulties, which prevents the employment and the patient works unassisted. Grade four is when the patient is unable to work without any assistant. Grade five is when the patient is wheelchair or bed bound. And so basically the significance is as you're understanding, we determine whether the patient is employed or not, whether the patient is walking with support or not, whether the patient is having a normal gait or not, and whether the patient has root symptoms only or actual compression symptoms of the entire spinal cord. So this is how we determine what is a neurix grade. And this is important because this is asked to you in your vibe also. If you get a case of the uh, cervical myelopathy, neurix grading is something that is important to be given in the diagnosis. Ranavat's classification, historically, this is also important. There are uh, three different classes. Class one is when the patient is having pain, no deficit. Class two is when the patient would have a subjective weakness. Clinically, you are going to elicit hyperreflexia and dysthesias. Class three is when the patient is having objective weakness with long track signs. However, the patient is ambulatory. Three B is when the patient has got objective weakness with long track signs and the patient is not ambulatory. So these are the different grading with respect to the Ranavats classification system.